So as you suggested, though, there is a, another limit. If you can add enough mass to a star to overcome even neutron degenerate pressure, which, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, can happen, then that, there's, a, there's a theoretical limit where neutron degenerate pressure uh, can withstand the force of, of crushing gravity. That is called the Oppenheimer-Volkov limit. You might recognize the name Oppenheimer right. from the Manhattan Project. Right. So he was one of the scientists who worked on that. Uh, by the way, the white dwarf line was the Chandra Sekar limit. He's also another fairly famous scientist. Chandra is what we call him a lot, but mm -hmm. Chandra Sekar. So anyway, the Oppenheimer Volkoff limit, once you push the mass past that point and you get to that Oppenheimer Volkoff limit, neutron degenerate pressure can no longer stop this stuff. And you have the ultimate collapse, which then defies even our ability to understand what takes place. We leave the realm of understandable physics at least at this point in our understanding. And all of that mass collapses down into what's known as a singularity. Right. This is a, a phenomenon predicted by Einstein in the general theory of relativity. It was largely disbelieved by uh, the majority of the physics community that that could even be a possibility until we started finding them. We started seeing, well, let me be careful. We started seeing the results of the presence of objects that defied any other possible explanation except that a black hole must be somehow involved. How do you see a black hole? You don't. How do you see the existence of a black hole? You see material around the outside responding to that intense gravitational field in the proximity of a black hole. And that stuff, by the way, is doomed. It's, it's on infall. It's falling into the black hole. So you don't see the black hole itself, you see the results of the black hole. That so when it, when, it, when it falls into the black hole, then really essentially what's happening is all its particles are crushed as well. Yeah. Into that mass, is that yes. correct? Yes. A black hole is effectively a one-way cul-de-sac. You drive in, you can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> and the gravitational field in the immediate vicinity of the edge of the black hole, which is known as an event horizon, that gravitational field is so strong that even light can't escape it. If light's sitting right on the edge, it'll simply go around in circles around that black hole forever. If light gets any closer to the black hole, it falls in past the event horizon, and quite frankly, nobody has a flaming idea what happens to it then. Not the energy, not the mass, not anything, because quite simply our physics breaks down, and we can't get any, any information to come out of that event horizon, so we, there's no possibility of making a measurement. So it gets weird, is the so point.